Hi, I'm Talia Hurwich. This is Meryl Jaffe next to me. We are both former teachers. We are both former teacher mentors. We are authors. We write about using graphic novels in the classroom. That is our book <laughs> worth a thousand words. And we're here today to talk about using graphic novels to teach students to read and find quality nonfiction. When I was teaching writing in middle school, I would finish my writing curriculum with nonfiction. And with that, I paired it with graphic novels. Initially, it was just for motivational purposes, but I found that there was a lot more richness that I could bring in using graphic novels really early on. What happened was we would start by talking about nonfiction, and immediately my kids got so much more anxious than I was accustomed to seeing them as aspiring writers. What I found out is they got so used to the five paragraph essay, they got so used to writing news articles that effectively they were intimidated by the concept of nonfiction. And so what I did was I started talking about Raina's books, um, specifically her memoirs. Sisters recently came out and they all loved that. They all read Smile and loved that too. And they were shocked that it was nonfiction. And so we started talking about, okay, what is nonfiction and how can we communicate information in ways that aren't just an essay? And so we started talking about those graphic novel memoirs as narrative nonfiction or creative nonfiction. And we started talking about what's expository nonfiction, what's argumentative nonfiction. And from there, Meryl and I started developing these lessons, um, many of which you can find in our book. But what we've been doing recently, Meryl's gonna talk a little bit more about now, which is about using graphic novels, not simply to get information in nonfiction texts, but to learn how to identify what is a good work of nonfiction. Okay, thanks. Thank you, Talia. One of the cool things about graphic novels is the integration of telling the story in text and an image. What happens is the image, images tend to be incredibly motivating, in incredibly engaging, which in turn makes them exceptional tools to teach with because you kind of have them at hello. Um, so, so in terms of using graphic novels uh, to help jumpstart kids into getting them engaged in nonfiction, whether it's reading nonfiction or writing nonfiction, uh, I'm going to share some teaching ideas with you. One of the first things that we need to do in, I think, teaching nonfiction in particular, but really just about anything, is some, very often to get our kids to slow down, to slow down and to attend to details. And graphic novels are just so well suited to help teach that. So one of the things that we, we do is we have students start with looking at images and then maybe using images and text and looking for things. So when teaching about nonfiction, one of the things that we recommend doing is having them search through the pages um, or page to try to tease out what's fact, factual and what's fiction. So I brought a book with me today. Um, it's Sunny Side Up by Jennifer and Matthew Holm. And if you were to turn to pages eight and nine, if you look at this, this spread of pages, what is factual? What is really telling us about 1976? What isn't? This is just one of the exercises that you can do to engage your students and to get them to start thinking critically about what it is they are reading. And then once you start doing that and engaging them in that, there are two different paths that you might want to take, or you may want to stop there because it's an awesome exercise in and of itself. But another thing that you can do is you can um, take, that, take that image from the book and then look, do the same thing for advertisements, for newspaper articles, for editorials, for blog posts. Another option that you can do is take these books by the Holmes, which is actually fiction that is heavily, heavily based on their lives, and compare it to Raina Telgemeier's books, Sisters, Smile, and Guts. And uh, you could compare and contrast the way they are telling these stories. One is fictional and one is not. 
I think that's our time. So I want to thank you. I want to thank Taya for joining me and working with me because she's awesome. <laughs> and I want to thank you guys for joining us. I would also just like to say that if you need any of the resources for teaching with graphic novels, I know Scholastic has some incredible resources for teachers. And we also hope that you will check out either our book because we have a number of lesson plans for Scholastic books. But also you, you can join us at our website, MerrillJaffe.com. And again, we have additional resources for you and we hope you check us out. Thank you very much. Thank you.